content of your answers. It is the way you say it, the way you present it in front of the visa officer. And how do you get this right? By practicing, by taking mock interviews. And this is exactly what we're going to do in this video. This is going to be a live mock interview session for your F1 visa. Keep on watching. Hi guys, my name is Shachi and I'm a travel and a visa coach. On this channel, you'll find lots of useful videos on the US visa process. We have an entire playlist for the F1 visa. So make sure that you subscribe, you hit the bell icon and you don't miss out on any of this content. So once you have the content and the structure of your answers ready, it's really important to practice it, not once, but multiple times so that you build the confidence, the fluency and feel comfortable when saying these answers in front of the visa officer. And all of this is possible through mock interviews. So this video is going to be a mock interview session and these questions are compiled based on the interview trends and the real interview experiences of students over the last two months also taking into account the interview experience of students who have worked with us. If you are prepared for the list of questions that we are going to discuss today, I believe you will be sorted and you will be able to answer anything that is asked to you by the visa officer. So this is how this mock interview session is going to work. Put yourself in a quiet room and turn off all distractions. If possible, record yourself, listen to each question carefully and after each question there is going to be a beep and you will be given some time. And this is the approximate time you will have in the actual visa interview as well. So try to answer and complete your answer within this stipulated period of time. And this is going to repeat and then we're going to go through all the questions. So I hope you're ready. Let's go. Good morning. Pass me your passport and I-20. Tell me about yourself. What have you done since graduation? What was your undergrad CGPA? Why is your CGPA on the lower side? Do you have any backlogs? If yes, why?
Tell me about your work experience and what is your main role? Tell me about your final year project in your undergrad. What do you plan to study in US? What will be your specialization? Why are you interested in studying this course? Tell me about the course structure. What are going to be your first semester subjects?
How did you come to know about this university? Why this university? Why only this university? Who is sponsoring your education? What do your sponsors do? What is the annual income and saving of your sponsors? Do you have a loan? Why have you not taken a loan? What do you plan to do once you finish this course?
Why do you want to study this course in US? Why not in your home country? Why should your visa be approved? Congratulations, your visa is approved. So this was the mock interview session. I really hope that this gives you a feel of the actual visa interview and I really hope that you get to hear these exact words as well at the end of your real visa interview. Now, now that the mock is done, let's get into the analysis and see how you have performed. So it's now time to assess yourself and there are four parameters based on which you can assess your performance in this mock interview. First one is the content of the answer itself. How confident and how comfortable did you feel with the content of your answers? And also, how specific were your answers to your profile? Did you use generic statements such as the education is good, the university is good, the faculty is good, etc, etc? Or were your answers specific to your background and your profile? So rate the content of your answers on a scale of 1 to 5 right now. The second parameter is your speech and your fumbling. So how many times did you fumble while saying the answers? If it was once or twice in the entire course of the interview, that's completely normal. But if you're fumbling at every sentence or in every answer, then that just means that you need more practice. So again, rate the delivery of your answers on the scale of 1 to 5. The third parameter is the time. How much time did you take in answering these questions? Were you able to complete it within the stipulated time? Now, after every question, we give you about 50 seconds to answer. And this is roughly the time you're going to have in the actual interview as well. Which means that your answers need to be concise, yet it needs to be impactful. So rate your timing on the scale of 1 to 5. And the last but not the least, a really important parameter is eye contact. So eye contact is one of the parameters used by visa interviews by visa officers in visa interviews to judge your confidence and the genuineness of your profile. So if you recorded yourself during the session, go back and see how much eye contact you are maintaining, whether you are actually looking at the camera or whether you are looking upwards or downwards. And again, rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 5. So there you go, you have an overall rating of your performance and this will give you a clear idea as to how much more preparation you need in your F1 visa journey. And once you have your rating, do comment below and let me know your score. I'm really curious to know how you performed in the visa interview. So do comment below, let me know your university name and your assessment and your score of your mock interview session. Now, if you want to take an actual mock interview with me, you can do that as well. So the link for that is in the description box below. This is going to be an intense session wherein we do the mock followed by answer structuring, correcting your mistakes. Tons of students have taken it and found it really useful. In addition to that, we have a lot of other resources as well. For the fall intake, there is a seven day course and this is an end to end prep which will begin with understanding your profile, filling your DS-160 form and it consists of multiple mocks. Plus, there are tons of free resources to help you in your F1 visa journey. So details of all of this is mentioned in the description box. 
So I really hope you found this video useful and like I said more content coming your way so stay tuned. Also do join the Telegram channel. This is where we bring out daily updates about lot of issues such as availability of slots, current trends in visa interviews and small tips and hacks here and there. So do join the Telegram channel. The link for that is below and you can also see it on the screen. That's all for this video. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. You can also DM me on Instagram. My Instagram handle is at shachi.mal. And that's all. Take care. Do prepare well. I'll see you in the next one.